first off, I would like to welcome Amoebits. Thank you for coming along. We've got a couple of guys on stage here. Um, just a little bit of context for the crowd. I did a little bit of coverage on just introducing them on one of my videos, and Amoebits were good enough to reach out and say, oh, look, you've just got a couple of our mint dates wrong, and we just kind of chatted from there, and um, we came up with doing an AMA, so it was very short notice. But um, you guys go for a launch in 26 hours, so it's, it, you know, like I'm, I'm happy with trying to help and, and get um, extra word out there for different projects. So uh, if one of you guys want to start, just introduce you, both yourselves on stage and, um, and your project. Flam's going to go ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, hey, everybody, my name's Flam's. I'm the lead developer on Amoebits. Um, I work together with JPEG. He's the lead artist. Um, Amoebits uh, is a generative NFT series, but really that's not what we're like, you know, here to market. What we're here to market is the Amoeboy. It's the extension that we're releasing alongside with Amoebits that will turn your NFT collection into um, lovable pets. Yeah, um, like Vlom said, I'm the artist for Amoebits. I've been putting together all this, the assets for the website, the the NFTs themselves, and then working on some of the stuff for the Ami Boy. Vlom's actually done a good chunk of design on the Ami Boy as well. But yeah, we we kind of came up with this idea through working with another project called Bitmates, and they were releasing a big MMO game in partnership with their NFT collection. So you would use their NFTs to play the MMO. But I was in their Discord server, kind of watching how things were developing, and it seemed like it was going to be quite a while till they got some good functionality out for the game. And we were talking about it and thinking, well, what do people do with these NFTs for the year or two years while they're waiting for this game to come out? Or what about other NFTs like, um, you know, some of the blue chips, Solana monkey business or thug birds or whatever else, these NFTs usually don't get sold too often, especially from, you know, those die hard, like diamond hand holders. So what do they do with them? You can use them as a PFP. That's great. But, it feels like there's something more that we could be doing. And so that's how we ended up coming up with this idea of the Ami Boy. Um, we also both are a bit nostalgic for uh, Tamagotchis that were, I mean, they're still around today, but they were pretty popular, I think, in the early 2000s. At least that's when I used them a lot. And we thought, well, why don't we just make kind of a wallet viewer, but it's designed in a almost Game Boy Color shape um, that kind of form and you can just select an nft pop it in there and play with it like a digital pet just like a tamagotchi you know it, it seemed like an easy enough thing to execute and lucky enough it has been and so we have a demo today that um, we're going to show you guys that's awesome that's awesome so in the team you've got uh what three three of you in the team i know it is a smaller size team um, yeah, uh, well, it's oh, go ahead, four Fox. of us, um, but there's two of us in like the core primary like development team. Um, we've got two people like helping us run the community a little bit. Um, but as far as development goes, it's just me and JPEG. So that was yep. kind of your light bulb moment during uh, in the Bitmate say that um, you just kind of thought they weren't going to kick off too much. You guys wanted to produce something with which you could use now. Um, Sorry, you, you go. Oh. oh, yeah, I was just going to say, um, yeah, it wasn't that we had any doubt in other projects doing well or, you know, ultimately accomplishing what they want to accomplish. It's just uh, we thought, well, what could they do in the meantime? And we also really wanted something that was like cross. Uh, I mean, ultimately we wanted to be cross blockchain, right? So we're, we're working on Solana integration now. So all the Solana NFTs will be able to get loaded in. Um. But aside from making it cross blockchain over time, we also just thought, well, there's all these different communities. And as much as people say, oh, like we're all together in the Solana space, they are competing a little bit. You know, everyone wants their NFT, their investments to pop off and make them money or make them, uh, you know, kind of raise their status, so to speak. And this is kind of like the great equalizer in a way. It's just everyone is going to be able to download the Emmy Boy for free. Um, and regardless of whether you invest in our project or you invest in another project that you like, you're still going to be able to join the Amiiboy community by downloading that free extension and plugging your personal collection into there.
and uh, you know, just having a good time with it, sharing screenshots and things like that. Yeah, so you didn't touch on it, I don't think, in there, but you, you talk, it's a Chrome extension. So is that going to be usable yes. on PC only, Mac, I'm, I'm guessing as well, but um, or, or, or can Macs use that? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Max will be able to use it, I'm pretty sure. I haven't tested that. Uh, however, um, after our primary mint, we're going to be looking into porting it to Firefox as well as an extension. I'm not sure what that would entail, but you know, we'll have uh, we'll have time to investigate that. And even down the line, we would be interested in porting it over to um, your phone so that you can take a Mii Boy on the go. And that yeah. would be really cool. So what happens there is to Firefox the link to be able to get it to your phone? Oh, uh, yeah, it would all access the same kind of, like, save file, the back end. And so, like, your phone would be able to access Simi Boy, you know, Firefox or Chrome would be able to access Simi Boy, and you would plug in your um, public key for your wallet, and it would just load your collection, and you'd pick the pet that you would want to use, and it would just sync up. So before we start looking at NFT launches and going through the, the precise things of that, what are the actual, um, like, the, the services that that the Amiibo is going to be able to do on your computer to start off with? What sort of functions are you going to put on there? Uh, Vlom, should we throw up a video in the live questions? And then we can kind of go through that. Yeah, I haven't taken, a, a like, a latest screen recording. It's on my laptop. Do you want me to get over there and do that right now? Even if you have a uh, exact time that you're aware, I've got the, the YouTube link for you guys in the live questions, so people can always click on that and go find a video on a time. Well, this one, I, we don't have the newest stuff on YouTube quite yet, but Vlams, I think probably the older one's okay for now, just to show the basics, because we can always say, you know, we're adding more functionality. Yeah, well, I'll post hour. that one, and maybe I'll sprint over to my laptop um, and turn that on. Okay, do you want me to just explain the, the first chunk and then you can post the next one while, while I'm talking about it? Yeah, I just downloaded the old one. I'm going to post it over here in a second. Okay. Hey, Favor. Thanks for joining oh, us. I can't post in this chat. It says I don't have permissions. Uh, live questions is open. Um, you should be able to post in there. It might be files. You can't post yeah. files. No, it just... Um, I just, it says you do not have permissions to send in this channel. I'm not sure. Um, I can post it in the Frank game AMA. Yep. Post it in there. That's fine. I'll move it. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Barn Dog, what was the channel he was saying? Frank game. It's just above it. It was another AMA chat. Um, so two above it. Am I crazy? I see live questions, Solana calendar, grape calendar. That's right. I've got it coming. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, if you guys want to check out this peak underscore 2021 that Barn Dog just posted, I'll kind of walk you through the screen recording. So I'm going to tell you timestamps and you can just pause with me. We'll go through it together. And then Barn Dog, if you have any questions as we go, just, you know, speak up. No, I'm happy. I mean, you guys run these discords, um, things on on your own server and that. It sounds like you've been through it a bit. You're controlling that well. I will write down notes. It's it's pretty awesome. I'm here to listen. I've watched a couple of your videos, um, you know, in preparation. There, there is no light paper, though, or no white paper that I could notice. Is, is that right? Yeah, we. it's been tough. Um, I've been meaning to write a Medium article to kind of outline the whole process, but uh, we are spread pretty thin because it's just the two of us, so... We've uh, just trying. We've been trying to just lock down kind of the essentials for Mint Day because this is going to kind of function as our test mint, and then because everyone who holds a Amiibit Mini will be like a beta tester for us for this Ami Boy, we're going to try and catch up on some of those things like the white paper as we go through beta testing and iron out some of the details. So for the people in the crowd listening, there's a little bit of information there with the mini. So what's happening is they're doing two lots of launches. Uh, tomorrow is is their pre-launch, think of it. So they're releasing 500 minis. They've given away a lot to their own crowd and to, to advertising and um, competitions and things like that. So we have actually got a couple for um, stage questions. So if you do have questions, watch, watch the videos that we're putting on. 
um, it could be a good chance for you to get in. It's not going to be an NFT that's going to deliver in-game coins. Don't think of it like that. It's a good chance to be able to actually test a exciting new game and product. So it's um, it's it's not worth us just sitting it in the great vault. Um, we absolutely want to get them to people and test it. Yes, one hundred percent. I'm going to post my roadmap in as well, just so if people want to check that out, you can kind of see the process. Um, we, maybe we should go through that fully in a minute here, but yeah, like Barndog said, we will be giving away a couple of these Amoebit mini NFTs. Uh, just people who are engaging with the chat and asking questions, things like that. So feel free to, to speak up. Um, but let's hop into that video. So if everyone can go to timestamp, let's see, like about 10, um, you can see we actually don't have some of our UI in quite yet. We now have an embossed logo that says a me boy underneath that little gray bezel of the screen. Um, the A, B button have the A and B on there, and then we're putting in those little arrows to the D-pad. So, don't worry, it will it will look a little nicer than this. Uh, we're just trying to do some of that core functionality first, so that's working all great before we worry too much about the aesthetics. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, so do you have that that other clip up? Yeah, I just posted it. Okay, we didn't get very far, so we can just go right onto that one. Just ask some questions. Well, yeah, we were just showing the roadmap a bit, and uh, while uh, Barn Dog, can you move that over for us to live questions? Yeah, I've got a couple of computers. I'm trying to keep the chat going as well. That's fine. I've got it going. Oh, sorry about that. No, no, that's but, right. Um, I've got two computers onto it. Okay. Just to reiterate while we are waiting for that clip, um, the Amoebit Minis will be our first launch this Sunday. Uh, like Barn Dog said, we have given out about 300 between 300 and 350 um for giveaways and things like that we did kind of like a mass giveaway for early supporters because we do want this to be like a beta test we want people to be able to give us feedback and help us build the amoeba into the best product it can be so there there are a lot of people who are going to be getting one airdrop to them later today actually for free um a couple of you here right now we'll get a couple and then once we have these uh, next two weeks to beta test and really prime things up, we're going to be dropping 5,000 Amoebits and the Amoeboy for public use. And the reason we're dropping these 5,000 Amoebits is because ultimately, and this is something that will be implemented a little bit down the road, but ultimately we want these Amoebits to produce tokens that will be used to purchase cosmetic upgrades for your Amoeboy. And so this is not a, uh, a token that's going to be... Um, <sighs> I don't know, Vlums, would you call it a governing token or not quite? No, not utility really. token, if, you, if, if you'd go more utility token, I'm guessing. So it's not going to be a token that's going to be traded on DEXs, I'm assuming? Um, I, I don't believe so, Vlums. Do you want to detail the token a little bit because you're more uh, familiar with that yeah. than I? So I do think it will actually be listed. Um, there will be basically like a shop on our website where you could buy and basically spend tokens to uh, to buy skins for your Amiiboy and or stickers. And there'll be some kind of interface. I haven't, you know, this is all kind of future. It's on the future part of the roadmap. So it's not ready yet. Um, because that's, I, I mean, skin... it was a question I was going to be asking later, but obviously talking about it now, it, that would add some kind of uh, pay to earn effect from owning an Amiiboy. Uh, sorry, an Amiibit. If you were to purchase one of the, the 5,000, um alpha launch yeah yeah so how we would reward tokens is uh probably just on a time time gated faucet i'd like to do a pay to earn system but i I'm, I'm just worried about it being botted um and i feel like that happens quite a lot where someone just abuses the api or they figure something yeah. out and like your system would, would just get ruined because if you have a tokenomic structure and someone figures out a way to like attack the faucet like that's pretty game over ish you know like that's just going to destroy your economy yeah and i think um, um if you don't mind me adding something in uh we we don't really have a vision of the amiibo being this you know huge uh ecosystem of like earning and playing and and uh you know accumulating coins and things like that it's like i said earlier it's really just supposed to be this thin layer of the utility that can wrap up every single product in the ecosystem so I don't think Amiiboy will be the end-all, be-all for NFT gaming products. 
But it is something that I think anyone and everyone who's maybe new to NFTs or just waiting on another release from a product or anything else will just download for free and use in their spare time. So yeah, I wouldn't think of it as kind of something that you'll be just digging into for hours at a time each day, but no, rather something that... I, I, I do get what you're saying there is don't don't uh-huh. try to look at it as a way to make income and, and you'll be able to you know farm a, a good amount of money. But it, to, to me, it mm-hmm. thought, well, if you do actually have a chance to be able to sell those and me bits, it just adds a, a small trinkling of some kind of money that you might as a utility make because it's definitely, oh, yeah. These, yeah, definitely these utility platforms are, are going to be successful if, if run well because nfts are oversaturated at the moment and people need things to do and play with them otherwise they'll start mm-hmm. losing losing interest so i can definitely see an explosion yeah. in the utilities coming out but it, it was nice and that was definitely a question i wanted to ask was regarding whether people are going to be able to sell those so a time stamped one to me sounds better because then you can at least base that tokenomics on a model of five thousand times oh yeah, definitely. That's right. And, and you can work something that's not going to fuck your in-game e- economy. And if you've got ways yeah, to exactly. spend those coins, then you you kind of are deflating the coin by in-game purchases at least. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what we want in the future moving forward, like we're talking six months from now, we want to have this tokenomic structure in place. And we want to have a community marketplace where people can send us skins that they've made or stickers they've made for me boy and we want people to be able to browse this marketplace um they pick a skin that they want to buy and apply to their me boy there'll be like a preview function um they see how many tokens it is the market you know the, the person who listed that item will have priced it they go to a dex or whatever they buy the me bit tokens and then they do a transaction on our website and that like applies that skin to their me boy or the sticker to their me boy and moving forward, their Amiibo could be customized just a little bit. Um, so that's that's kind of what it'll look like, you know, six months from now. I like that. So in effect, you're giving um, people a chance to to help out, to design, to be creative, and potentially earn in-game assets yeah. or in-game mm-hmm. skins by exactly. things they want. So that's going to be one way that you're engaging with your community and um, being able to make them a part of the whole system and, and keep it. In, in the eyes, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you guys don't mind me butting in, there's a couple questions in the chat about uh, the functionality of Amiibits. So I just want to reiterate, the Amiibit minis, that'll be a 500 unit release tomorrow. Those will only have the utility of being beta keys. So for two weeks, they're going to function as early access for the Amiiboy. Um, after that two weeks, they'll just be a cool token of you know having been an early supporter. Because there's only 500 units, they will likely uh, rise in price a bit quicker than the standard Amiibits, which have a 5,000 unit release. And like I said, um, once that beta is over, the Amiibits will release 5,000 units of those. And ultimately, we we do plan to have uh, uh, an Amiibits DAO where we can have the community help us kind of determine the faucet of how fast those tokens are produced relative to the size of our community um, and the size of the people um, excuse me, the population of people using the Amiiboy and the you'll you know accumulate those tokens over time. So on launch of the Amiibits, they will just be a cool looking NFT. You know, you'll get a unique version that's just for you. And then as we continue to develop, we'll implement those tokenomics and you'll start to get tokens that can be used to customize your Amiiboy or that you could sell or give to others to let them customize their Amiiboy. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. You've had some caffeine this morning, haven't you? I haven't actually. I'm just. I'm really fighting through it. <laughs> this is just raw power right now. I, I love it, I, <laughs> and it's it's really good to get people with that passion, and and you can you can hear it in your voices. So you guys are coming up now. You're you're just on 24 hours, just over 24 hours before your launch. How have you prepared to go for your first launch? Like, um, what what have you done? Have you tried to rest up in the last few days, or you've been working even harder to make sure you're ready to go? Oh yeah, dude. He, I'm sure you've heard about what happened with Nobu Ninjas. I've been like double checking, triple checking everything possible. And it's been so much work to make sure that like everything's just in a row. But I'm quite confident our launch is going to go smooth. Um, also, I want to show you guys this video. Hang on, let me go find it. 
Um, what you just posted? No, that one's good too. I think everyone should check that one out. Um, so there but, is currently two videos that the, they're talking about. Are you gonna show the mint the mint process? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you talk about the mint process. Um, even for the bits, you're going to be doing that live on Twitch. Why? Why was that? What's uh, What's the reasoning behind that? Obviously, it's cool to be um, to public and open about it. But um, is there something that we're missing that the in the launch that other projects do differently? You know, it was just something that we thought would be fun. I bought some pumpkins. We're going to do some pumpkin carving. I think that'd be cool. Um, and also just to make sure that anyone who has issues, we can help them out and get it resolved like pretty much immediately. But I don't think anyone's going to have too much issues because, you know, we're only going to be selling like 180 units. So in a, a launch for an NFT series, it's a pretty small launch, like all, all things considered. So how um, is that launch going to work then? 180 units? Is it, um, quickest fingers in the West type thing? Yeah, pretty much. Um, anybody who's, you know, whitelisted. We'll get airdropped uh, today. Actually, we're going to be airdropping that today. Um, otherwise, if you look at the Frank M AMA, I just posted the video of the mint process. This is what it will be like um, once that timer has reached zero. That mint button will appear. You mint, and then your um, your Mebit Mini shows up. And it's so clean, and I'm so happy to have built something like this because my typical minting experience with Solana projects is I click a button. It says, don't leave this page. There's a little spinning box. And that's it. So it's yeah, like it's it's hard. It, it it's it's very interesting seeing the um. Obviously, I I study the games pretty deep and go through different processes and see them. And, and the bots have have made it really fucking hard. Um. And then you oh, get yeah. you get the initiatives like um, Fair Launch Protocol. Um. I did see one this week where they created an SPL token and um sent that out to their whitelisted people. So you had to have the correct amount of Solana and the SPL tokens. So that was an interesting spin. Oh yeah. We'll probably do something like a whitelist, um, like a whitelist slot for the Amoebits primary series because there are five thousand. We don't want that to get botted. Um, but for the mini release, um, just didn't have time to write that into the contract, pretty much. But well, yeah, it's something I'm definitely interested in. The people, I mean, all of our early supporters are going to get one, one hundred percent free airdropped into their wallet. So, well, yeah, we're not too worried. I mean, worst case scenario someone scoops up the last 150 or whatever which would it would suck but we still are getting over 300 individually airdropped to you know 300 of our supporters so and it's really it's good not so too I've, concerning i've seen some of your videos and you did uh, that you've got and you've got crowds of over 30 or 40 people is that right yeah yeah um, it's been uh the turnout's been really amazing so to see communities to give them all giveaways yeah i mean everyone's got to be bribed <laughs> I find that even when I'm bribing the crowd here in, in Great, maybe we run too many AMAs and they're, they're to use the old barn dog sending out messages. But um, yeah, it is. It's it's that cross between trying to get them in and excited, but um, not wanting to give away hundreds of dollars worth of prizes for it. You know, like it's a bit weird, the old, um, the old system. But with the 5,000 launch, is that going to be like a generative listing there? Are they all going to be unique, run off a candy machine? Blobs, um, you want to speak to that? Yeah, so I uh, it's going to be using a custom contract that I wrote. Uh, we're not using Candy Machine or Metaplex. It's just a custom contract that mints NFTs um, on the fly dynamically. So the NFT doesn't exist until you hit that mint button. Um, so that's the, the hosted Fra on Frankie one you're talking about then, sorry, is it? Yeah, the regular one and the mini one. Uh, so... Um, yeah, that's just how that'll be set up. But yeah, it's a generative series. Um, let me see if I can find a list of the regular Mebits to post. So you're talking um, uh, 0.25 for the minis tomorrow. Is that that's still the price you're going to go in there? It's, that's a, a very super micro cost. Yeah, I mean, despite Solana pumping, I think we will just proceed with that cost because there's just not enough time to get the word out that time, like, the you know, things are going to change. So we're just going to proceed forward with that. I don't think um, Solana had a bit of a pullback today anyway, though, didn't it? So, I mean... You're not talking. Oh, I haven't checked the markets this morning. It's it's funny. The more you go into study and research and down that tree, the less you're actually doing crypto stuff. Um, do we have any kind of idea on your your primary amoebits? You've you've put a figure out of kind of zero point five to one and a half for on your main launch. Yeah. You know, we've been in a couple of Twitter spaces discussing the price exactly, and 
from what we had talked about, we feel pretty confident with uh, one Solana. So that's what we've posted tentatively right now. And I don't think things will change. Um, look, that seems fair to me from everything else I'm seeing at the moment. You're getting you're getting such a huge variety. Um, I don't know if you saw the Zulana. They did a free teaser mint, which is probably going to be similar to your um, your mini. So you've given out three, four hundred to your own crowd. It's, it's that's what they did. They did two hundred to their their um, loyal supporters and a hundred to Kaiju through a partnership. So they've traded pretty heavily on Magic Eden. Um, and I believe that's where you guys, oh no, Digital Eyes. Have you, have you lined up any other secondaries at the moment or is it just Digital Eyes? Just Digital Eyes at the time. Yeah, we reached out to Magic Eden actually and they told us that um, they were, you know, being selected basically. Um, I think they were looking at the function of price from the potential like gaining that they could get from listing minis and they just didn't see it as worth their time, unfortunately, because it's kind of like a cheap launch, so to speak, like compared to a lot of launches. So I just don't know what that, like, as a marketplace, I just don't know exactly what you have to hit to, like, make a product or a, a series worth listing. And I, well, it's, I same, it's just kind of a... Yeah, it's kind of weird, I guess, because um, Zulana was a free launch and they've taken them on. Whereas if you guys are going in a 0 0.2, uh, sorry, at 0.25, then... Um, oh, yeah, see, that's even weirder. Well, so, like, I, I think it's don't... what they stand, I think it's what they stand to make in royalties, right? Because, I mean, how many units was Zulana? Um, I think 2.5k or so. 3,000 total. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they stand to make a lot more letting that 2.5k uh, unit set trade than our 500. But but also we just are small. You know, we we still are what like I think 1.2 thousand followers on on Twitter. We have a pretty decent Discord, but um, I had, we do have a partner that we'll be talking to later today about getting in contact with Digitalize again and seeing if we can pull some strings. So. We'll see how that turns out, but right now it's just digitalized. All right, so um, you guys then aren't VC funded. You, you, you're talking about a partner there, possibly. Obviously, you can't mention that at the moment, but um, how do you guys, how do you pay the bills? How do you pay the water and power? I work. I just have a job. Uh, Vlams, do you want to talk about your, your recent experience? Yeah, man. I quit my job like four months ago. Just randomly, I was just like, yeah, you know what? I'm not feeling like my coworker's kind of an ass, so I'm just going to bounce. <laughs> and that was after working for five years at that one job. And I had always been interested in crypto. I bought some F back in 2016, but I sold way, way too early, unfortunately. <laughs> I still made a lot of money, okay? I still, it was still like incredible. It changed my life. But um, I'm currently just sitting on some savings while I try and... Uh, Try and run this project, so that's how it's uh, that's how it's going. Oh, I did have another one um, on the minis. So you've you've got the minis. You're launching that out, obviously tomorrow. It's tomorrow for me. It's tonight for you, lads. Um, two weeks is that enough time to be able to do testing? Do you think is that not pushing the envelope too quickly? So two weeks to test would three or four maybe have been a bit better. Yeah, possibly. Um, so it is a Chrome extension. Those do get automatically updated as I push the updates into the extension. So um, I think with the feedback from the community, uh, I can be transparent in our Discord and just work on, you know, bugs and things like this and that and maybe implement feature requests. Um, but yeah, two weeks is a little tight. And if we're feeling it, we could always push the mint back a little bit, the release back a little bit. It's just having participated with um, DeFi land that's been going for months. Obviously, they do little updates and it's completely different being a, um, a scaled game they have to do the updates for. So as a Chrome extension, that, that's really cool to understand that. You can update what on the, on the spot and do a hot update. So if someone notices something, you can fix it immediately. Yeah, yeah, fairly, fairly quickly. So you, which won't, is pretty you good. won't be sleeping at all for the first two days of launch. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, if I can just speak up for a sec about uh, favor asking about this whitelist. So we're doing, yeah, you to tell. I mean, it, the the primary whitelisting was done, but favor we still are using the whitelist for like our giveaways. So if if you win a giveaway today, we'll white with we'll whitelist you in the server, and you'll get the free airdrop that we're doing later today. Um, for the other me bits, we're not going to do a free whitelist, but we are just doing a whitelist for like. Uh, you know, you'll be first to buy. 
and that we are still working out the details on. So yeah, guys, it's it's not quite done. I mean, we're still trickling people in from winning giveaways, but the primary whitelisting event is done. Um, I guess from a bit of a personal side of things, what's been your best achievement so far in the community? So with your Discord, have you got anything of highlight that um, has really helped to keep you guys building? Um, I would say just working with other projects. Um, it's it's a slow grind when you're just tweeting out to, you know, the 10, 20 people that really care. But when you can work with other projects and, you know, share their content, they share your content. Um, it's been cool to see the communities don't, you know, if, if I'm like a, an NFT fan, I don't have to just pick one project to follow, one project to engage with. And so if these different communities share our audiences with each other, all it does is, you know, spread the love. And these, you know, I know Mako, for example, he was someone that we knew from the Bitmates Discord. And I think he's still very involved with Bitmates. I think he, you know, is still a holder there. And he's going to be a holder for free now with the Amoebits. So, yeah, it's it's just been uh, awesome to work with these other projects and share exposure. And luckily, we've been able to get involved with quite a few and get a decent following going. So when you say working with the other projects, that's talking about um, being able to purchase in-game, using those coins and buying things for the NFTs that you partnered up with. How, how many roughly have you managed to link up with at the start? Um, right now, so what, what do you mean exactly by... Uh, You've talked about having up and... partnered um, partnered NFT projects. So is, is there... Yes. Um, yeah, it's not... We're not going to include the like Amoebit functionality of generating coins with any other NFTs. It's just going to be the Amoebits. We, we partner in the sense where... Um, and I wish I could show some of our promotional videos we've been working on, but we are going to release the Amiiboy publicly to everyone so anyone can use their NFTs in it. But we have talked with a few communities where they want to specifically showcase their NFT in the Amiiboy. So right now we have a series of promotional videos. Our community members have seen one already. It's this 3D render. Um, kind of looks like almost like a darker version of an Apple commercial. Not quite as high fidelity as that, but we show a bunch of NFTs flashing through the screen of the Amiiboy, and then it locks onto a certain project and you know displays Amiibits X, whatever their project is. And we're doing these things so that they can present to their community, hey, we have this added functionality for our NFT. Um, although it is a, a public utility, um, they're showcasing it to their, their community as a you know, partnered thing. Um, and it's just supposed to build a bit of hype for them. And then for us, it just helps with exposure. So it's it's a bit of a... I just posted sorry. it into the Frank Game AMA as well. Vlams, can you at uh, me in that channel? Because I cannot see it. I don't know what's going on. I can't at people. Um, Barn Dog, would you mind adding me in it? Oh, I don't. you don't have the permissions to view this channel. That's why I can't at you, actually. I can't view it? Yeah, so you in the list? Better to be uh, verified, yeah. Did I not verify? Well, What's wrong I, with I think it's weird that I don't have permissions to talk in live questions. But yeah, okay. I mean, okay, I'll just go on. I mean, so yeah, uh, Barnuck, to to reiterate on the the partnerships, um, it, it is they are a bit thin as far as partnerships go. It's more about just sharing exposure rather than really embedding them in the utility. Um, but I think they see enough value in it with the promotional video and really showcasing them as one of the, the first NFTs to be partnered with you know, this new utility. And they're confirming to their community that their NFTs will be available to use in there. And it's uh, a bit of just a, kind of a hype machine to get people in there and uh, get their communities involved. But realistically, it's just a different form of... Um advertising for for those platforms so it gives you guys a way of i guess making um extra utility for your um immediate holders as well because then you're going to what get competitions and prizes from them to be able to spread out to your holders mm -hmm. and uh some of these partnered projects as well will be getting whitelist spots for their community so if they're holding uh you know one of them that we've already publicly talked about is soul slimes so soul slimes holders will likely get a good chunk of whitelist spots that's just for them as well, well as our community and then a couple others it kind of fits oh, yeah. doesn't it salt limes <laughs> yeah well 
I, have you done an AMA with Soul Slimes? No, I, Homie Stark. Um, I, I love this article uh, but because there was no game developed or talking of being developed. It, it was for me. I, I've got over seventy games on my list. It's just too hard to be able to talk and, and, and stress uh, yeah. about it. So you know, like well, we're, we're nearing a hundred games in Solana at the moment. So it's, it's it's really hard for me to get time to be able to yeah. concentrate. But he's certainly got a good art team behind him and. Even eating Jerry, you know, like oh, that's that's one of the ones I saw that I was most impressed with. Um, it was such a simple little graphic, but it gave me several ideas that I've given to other people as well. Yeah, the Soul Slimes community is just like they're so pleasant. Everyone over there is so kind and so nice. And uh, the lead on Homie Stark, he's the one who wrote that Medium article. He's like the nicest guy. He is the chillest dude. So when you uh, when they do get a product and you get around to interviewing them and whatnot, uh, yeah, they, you'll look, see there could I mean. be a chance and so eventually. Cool. That's that's the thing is he's managed to get his his way yeah. into many many doors without having a game. So there's definitely ways that these PFP projects can get in, and it's not that I don't I, I don't I don't personally go down the PFP side of it. I'm an old gamer and I I love just seeing what's happening and seeing projects like this are quite interesting as well because it does it allows. A new form of advertising through you know having a utility items that you know it's it's just more of a world of things to see as well um barn dog if you don't mind could you drop off that bitboy digital pet version i'm dropping a new version just below it that has the correct text we actually changed the name from bitboy to a me boy so you want me to and delete so that just, one yeah i'm just a little worried about that getting spread around with the mixed up information so the new one should have just popped up down at the bottom yeah, and we'll fine. actually, we haven't ever posted this on Twitter, so we're going to try and put this up on Twitter and pump it a bit today with our community to get the word out. So you're saying we've got live alpha? Yes. Now I'll have to download it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We got 26 people in here now. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's slowly oh, picking up. Yes. The more that you get, normally it trickles in. Um, so that's really cool. So what's I haven't seen a roadmap or anything like that. You've got two weeks of testing, possibly more, depending on how you go. You do your launch in November. So what's the remaining of the year? Let's just go for the remaining four to six weeks. Yeah, um, I posted the roadmap a second ago, but it got kind of buried. I'll post it one more time right here. Um, Vloms, are you okay if I run through it or do you yeah. want to go over that? Yeah, sure. Um, I think he was talking about like beyond the roadmap, right? It's like after the oh. primary release. No, no, just the, uh, so the next, next six like... weeks. Just, just after you've launched, you know, until Christmas, think of. Yeah, okay. So if you're if you're looking at the roadmap, we've got point eight, which is our primary launch. So we'll head into point nine with our uh, one of one weekly charity auctions. We're basically, we'll let people either basically create vanity amoebits or we'll create special amoebits that are like mutinized like more like monsterish um and we'll do an auction with our community and whatever price that gets fixed um we'll match from the development team an equal price and we'll forward that um proceedings to a charity of the community's choice as well so and this is going to be for... your DAO you're talking about then because you did mention a DAO, i believe at the start yeah well we don't have a DAO just yet so it'll just be like community voting um it's not the best to just do that, but I think it'll be okay for now. Um, so that'll happen for probably five. We'll probably do five of those or around five and see how well received it is from the community too. If people really love it, maybe we'll do more than five. Um, and they'll be really cool. Joey's a really good artist. So those one of one will be really unique. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun to have like, uh, you know, the opportunity for people to have really special me bits without just rolling, you know, because when you're minting, it's just luck of the draw, luck of the draw, luck of the draw. And to have, although it will be an auction, which, you know, kind of sucks because it's to the highest bidder, it is just another way for people to have a shot at a really interesting style to me bit. Um, I don't think we've mentioned you've got two special golden me bits in your first alpha mint. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're super cool. I, I should put those in here too. It's funny, it's yeah, not something just I normally be... touch on with your rarities and that. I, I do see you had rarities listed uh, a couple of different graphs within your Discord. Um, but the golden ones, let's let's talk about them a little bit more. Yeah, they are just um, 
Well, the lore behind these guys, let me see if I even have the lore right here. Amongst the thousands of amoebit variants, legend tells of two golden twin amoebits. Their true origin is still known. This is the wrong lore. I updated this lore. Anyways, look at it for the look at it for the image. I updated the lore on Instagram. Uh, I'll have to get the new file. But uh, essentially, the the lore is that all these amoebits were created in a lab by our scientists. They were an experiment. Um, and when you mint one, if you if you guys have watched that little mint clip that Vlams posted, you did post that up, right, Vlams? Yeah, it's in that other uh, channel. Okay. I still don't have permissions in this one. It's weird. So yeah, the, sorry. The mint looks kind of cool compared to other mints. <laughs> I don't <know>. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we love it. So yeah, that's it's supposed to make you feel like you're a scientist. You're discovering a new a new variant of Amoebit. So that's that's the lore. And uh, these golden ones, they were created using a special gold infusion process, which unfortunately was too expensive for us to repeat more than twice. So we have these two golden amoebits we called them Bayo and oma uh or amo i think it was um and we'll post a little bit more about that lore as we get closer to the primary mint but these guys will have some special properties that are unique to them so all amoebits will have functionality producing those tokens these guys will have a little bit of extra to them so there's definitely some value in trying to pick these guys up I pick up, they're going to be point. Uh, well, there's going to be two out of the five thousand, yeah. 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 So it's it'll be tough to grab them for sure, but it's a it's just a little bit of extra fun when you're minting. There's this this very small chance that you'll get something really really special. It, it is one of the the big things about it. I mean, it's unfortunate that that's created problems with PFP uh, markets where you know that people dump because they don't get rares and they're just chasing the rares to flip. Um, but for something like this project, that does actually sound pretty cool. Um, are we looking back to the to the uh, roadmap? A shop, yeah, uh, and a media. Yeah, so yeah, so circling back after uh, or while we're doing charity weekly auctions, I want to say I'm going to keep working on a me boy because I'm sure that as we release that, we're going to get a flood of requests, a flood of bug reports. So while this is all going on, I'm going to continue developing a me boy to make sure that it's completely like up to standard and like it's not going to be something that we just abandon like this isn't a product that we launch and just leave um so moving forward yeah the amoeba token and amoeba shop will begin working on that too we need to work out with our community the exact like details of the tokenomic structure to make sure that it's rock solid because if we release the tokenomic like structure with the shop and it's not set up in a smart way it's just it's going to be dead and like once the tokenomics are rolled out you can't roll it back so like we're going to work with our community to make sure that what we have in mind makes sense. Um, and we won't release anything that like won't work. So there'll probably be something on like test net and beta net where we'll have like, like beta sites and we'll probably pick a couple people to help us like test things out and just make sure that what we have is great. Um, meanwhile, at the same time, I also want to start working on cross chain, um, platform accessibility for a boy. That's like a me boy V2, I guess is really where I'm moving to. Um, because yeah, like JPEG was saying, we focused on Solana integration with Amiibo and you plug in your Solana wallet, it loads your collection right now and you pick from your collection. Um, but there's nothing stopping us from adding in Ether support or Cardano support or ADA or Algorand or any of these other blockchains. Um, so moving forward, we can also look into doing that, which I think really will help grow the Amiibo community because we'll be able to access such a wide range of, um, uh, NFT holders that I feel like your typical NFT projects just don't have that same kind of reach. I think that would boost your tokenomics through the oh. roof <laughs> if you get an integration with uh, all the cryptocurrencies where Definitely. NFTs are found. Yeah, crazy. Um, guys, I just verified, like you said. I appreciate the explanation, but now I can't type in this one channel specifically. The live yeah, questions. I'm verified too, and I have the same issue actually. So I, there I, might be some kind of permission issue. Yeah, I could um, post and um functionality, but really, also at that point, if we if we have a widespread adoption of Amiibo, our tokenomics will be booming. We will have an incredible amount of uh, funding as well, and we'll be able to do this full time for sure. We will definitely look into getting Amiibo ported to other devices like your phone, etc. Um, that's probably months out. Like we're talking six plus months out to develop a phone app that would emulate what the Amiibo does. But that would be something that would be so cool. 
Yeah, um, that would be, that'd be awesome if we could pull that off. It's just it'll just take time. Yeah, exactly. But you're delivering something from the very beginning is the important thing. So you're not trying to build a AAA yeah. game to start off with. Are you? You're not saying, oh, we're yeah. going to do this 3D UE5. You know, we're going to have it all happening in, in August. It's it's good. It's, it's good to see that you're actually achieving goals at the start. And that to be able to mini test from the beginning is, is pretty awesome. Um, how long until, I guess, is there or actually, is there, is there any plan of like a beta launch um, down the track or breeding potentially you know we've talked we floated the idea with the community a little bit about having some kind of burner contract where like maybe you submit your um, mini or amoebit into this contract it burns it and it gives you like a new mutation so to speak um so we've definitely talked about that but nothing's finalized on the roadmap we've definitely floated the idea around and we might do some kind of second generation amoebits where they're more tied into like a burning contract and or are stackable but that's pretty far out and down the line so yeah i think the the current set of amoebits just weren't designed to evolve um i think if i were to design a set like that i would want to do like the head assets could be preserved through the you know the leveling up but because the minis are so small and the primary min is so big. The assets are much diff like, you know, the I think the big ones are like sixteen by sixteen for the head assets. The other ones are like eight by eight. Um anyways, that's more just like technical stuff, but I, I would like to design it quite differently if we were gonna do a, a leveling up system like that where they evolve. So it would probably end up being a separate series. Yeah, it's definitely a cool idea. But yeah, we wanted to keep our um our product, like minimal viable product, like something that works that you can use right now and not make any like crazy metaverse promises. Like a lot of projects, I feel like promise you the world and it's not bad to do that. It's not bad to have like an ambitious roadmap, but uh, you know, then you get stuck in this development time process that can take eight months to 18 months. So we didn't want to have our project fall into that kind of bucket. We wanted to get something going right now, get the community established. And then moving forward, we can look into the more complicated like roadmap promises and the metaverse like things and like this and that. Like we've had a lot of people too recommend games in the Emi Boy, like uh, like a Pokemon like multiplayer game, and like that would be really cool and that would be an amazing experience. But like, can I build that in two weeks? Could I have built that in the last you know four weeks? Like, ah, uh, I just I don't think that would have been possible. Like, I might have gotten something possibly put together, but. There's no way that it would have been like a solid experience that I would be proud of, you know. But what we have in Amy Boy right now, I am proud of. So that's really cool. We're nearing on uh, 50 minutes. We'll start having a look at uh, wrapping it up. Um, it's funny we didn't even talk about time at the start. I, I, I can't seem to do a half an hour AMA for the life of me. Um, there's <laughs> always we do a one hour weekly event um on grape on a friday night and that's never never been an hour i can't get that under an hour and a half two hours so we struggle on that um are there any any closing thoughts that you guys know about your project that you would like to talk about uh you want to pick the take this one yeah i mean i i just want to say real quick we did kind of gloss over the actual functionality i'm sure some of you guys just went ahead and clicked on that sneak peek and yeah. watched through yeah um but I just want to make it clear, those four tabs you can go to, you, you know, you can go up, down, left, right for stats, notes, games, and actions. Um, those will be expanding over time for sure. And that's going to be based on community feedback. Uh, if you're the kind of person that's really interested in the development of projects like this, I would highly recommend uh, trying to get whitelisted, win a giveaway, or just picking one up tomorrow. Because the beta is going to be your best opportunity for giving us suggestion, suggestions and having something actually added in. Uh, after beta, we are, of course, going to add new features, but it'll probably be a bit more selective. Um, you know, right now it's a clean slate, so we're really looking for advice on that. Is it is it possible to mint one tomorrow if you are not whitelisted? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the whitelist is actually the way we're doing it. This first whitelist is everyone whitelisted is going to get it for free. Um, there, okay. you know, everyone is going to be welcome to to purchase. Hey, so speaking of whitelist, let's do some giveaways right now. Yeah, should we do a spin? The spin wheel? Yeah. Yeah, I've got twenty-four put in. Um let me add Barn Dog and Continental. You guys need to be in here too, actually. So we'll have twenty-six. 
You guys will be 25 and 26. Um, we can't I'm streaming that, right? this. We're going to post it later um, for transparency. So I'm not rigging this giveaway. These numbers <laughs> coordinate to positions in the audience. So here we go. First spin. Oh, hype. It's spinning. <laughs> All right, it's landing yeah. on 20. Let's go. Okay. So let's see. That is Ray. Congratulations in the audience. Ray, right, congratulations, Ray. man. So, Ray, if you want to join our Discord, we'll get you whitelisted. You can register your um, key. Is Ray here? Well, should, we, should we confirm quick that Ray is, is actually hanging out and listening right now? Yeah, he, he needs to raise his hand, then we can get him off to stage. <laughs> Well, I mean, if he's AFK, oh, and yeah, he's not there. listening. He's raising his hand. No, no, that's me. Yeah, I'll just click it. So, Ray, oh, you rip, just yeah. click accept on the green button on top of your uh, name. It means a free prize. And that's that's awesome. That, that, that's appreciated seeing that. I like the idea. I'll have to see what you guys do for that, um, for the spin. Did you guys have any questions from the crowd you saw for your second one, or you want to do another random spin? Um, I was thinking oh, about yeah. doing a random spin. So Vlumps, yeah, should we do one for, for uh, someone who's asking questions, though? Because that, oh, that's yeah. how you usually do it, right, Barn Dog? I, I, no, I'm, I I'm happy for the, the project to, to, uh, to pick themselves, but uh, by all means, I, I just I like participation. I love seeing people getting into the crowd, talking, asking you guys questions that, that I don't think about. That That's part of part of it makes it better for me as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why don't is that okay, Vlams? If we have Barndog, yeah. do you want to just pick a random participant? Participant then? No, 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 I was going to ask you guys if there was a question there that you thought was this worthwhile. Continental, you had oh. a question. You had a question for these guys. Uh, yeah, is there uh, any kind of competition to the uh, army boards, or are you going to just have it uh, like a pet or something, or is there a kind of leaderboard? land or something else so there are achievements and stats so if you go to the frankium ama and you scroll up to the second video i posted and you go to the very end you'll see i'm on the stat mm -hmm. screen it's pretty rudimentary right now there's a lot of things missing but i uh i put in a cheat code and it pops up an achievement called cheater yeah. um so there will be achievements and there will be a page where you can track your achievements and i think people will really enjoy that um and it's kind of cool. So there will be things like that. Um, and can you? Spend I'm not sure coins? if we'll have like a global leaderboard, but we could possibly yeah. have something like that. I, I love um, that you have something like uh, achievements, but such things keep me playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm not fun, this but... kind of uh, casual player who's just having it. So I always want to achieve some things. So very good, nice. I've got it penciled on my calendar tomorrow to finish all of my DeFi land achievements. That's that's my tomorrow job. Um, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> achievements are important. They, they are a good way of keeping people in. And, and it was an old saying for me back in World of Warcraft days where you have years of not missing a day of a quest. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been built in through many years of gaming. Um, let's do that roll then. Let's, let's roll out another spinner. Well, I think if, if we're going to pick one um, for participants, I think favor was uh great just asking questions and you know offering to help with verification and things like that so yeah well koba's also been very participate or very active you know what too. you know what let's do a spin of just the just the people who have asked questions how about that because then we're not just oh, yeah, sure out. well we need so to put in... we're gonna need to re-spin for uh mr ray he's not come on stage he's not uh answered so that's going to be a lost chance there maybe he doesn't just don't know how to accept the well, he could post something in chat too. That's right. Yeah. If that were the case, he could be talking. Okay, he could yeah, let's be whispering. Let's do a respin real quick then. Okay, I'm spinning right now. Whoa, is he for sure gone? He's still there, but he's not answering. So let's reroll. You guys went. Ray. It landed on twenty again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gods want Ray to win. Kova, yeah, MP4s, gifts, 3D NFTs. Those will all work just fine in the Emmy Boy. They look really cool, actually. Yeah, actually, yeah, the GIFs in Amiibo look crazy. Animated GIFs in Amiibo, it's crazy how, like, we have a couple pixels. I, I minted a couple. They look so good in Amiibo. It's just, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, All right. So well, Ray, Ray had a green hand icon by his 
that was Mang. Yeah, he was he was invited to come up. Uh, so I think okay. he was just AFK. So yeah. And and that's um, one of the things that I brought. He needed I, to raise his hand before, right? Or can no, you no. just invite him? As a moderator, I can invite anyone, and it automatically puts it on oh, the screen okay. for him. And he's AFK, I think. Yeah, I've cancelled the request. So I mean, I've seen it on Discord, plenty of Discords and randoms, and people might make money. They might have real life things come up and can't finish it. But um, you know, we're here to entertain our guests as well as um, as give some value back to our people and, and guests that come on stage for us. So, um, yeah, let's roll another one. All right. So, wait, wait, Kova Grape just won that one? Yeah, I think we're going to give one away to Kova for sure. Oh, okay. um, that'll be my audience pick. All right, okay. let's roll another one then. Here we go. It is spinning and it's landing on 18. Let's see. That's two oh. left of Ray. Favor. Yes, Favor, you wound up winning. Woo! Congratulations. That makes nice. me feel better. <laughs> I, I, felt, <laughs> I felt bad saying Favor should get one for yeah, audience. And you'd, then... <laughs> almost, you'd almost thrown your co guest and well, you should have. Yeah. Yeah. Favor is an awesome dude in Grape. Also, he's moderator and always helping the people having problems. And so, nice uh, guy. He deserves yeah. it. <laughs> good, good. All righty. Mm. So, I'll remove Favor and uh, let's do another spin, shall we? No, no, that's it. You've got Cobra and Favor, yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's do a third, though, for sure. All right. Five. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Kid Bucko. Kid, Kid Bucko. You got a different order than me. Kid Bucko, if you want to say something in the live chat, you have been selected. He's typing. He's typing. Let's go. <gasps> oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> let's Ryan go. Ryan never... <laughs> Ryan never wins. Rigged. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Ryan has been present for every giveaway we've ever done in the history of Amoebits. <laughs> He's never won. It's true. <laughs> um, it's okay. He'll get a free one today. You guys, you seem to have the stage well done. Like You've, you've got a great presence in the field. You're enjoying your product. Um, I've enjoyed having you here. I, like, it was funny. you know. Like I had you on the list for a while, and I thought I had missed your mint by the time I'd put you on video. And it was cool for you to contact me and and change my um, dates. So um, no, it was good, good to have you here. It's great to have you on Grape. Uh, we do a weekly thing. We always try to get non Grape members verified, and we do two thousand Grape every time. And we just talk about games. Um, once you've done your launch and you're through your testing, we'd be happy to have you on stage there for ten fifteen minutes on the hour slash not hour show, um, and see how you're progressing. Always happy to keep putting it through. We've got Soul Cipher on this week that are um, doing a bit of a challenge as well, so we've got a bit of a live cool. cipher contest. So.